Hello, in this quick tutorial we're going to learn how to use Google Highlighter. So what is Google Highlighter? It is an alternative to Webmaster Markup for helping Google understand your site data. It allows you to highlight pieces of your website with a simple click of the mouse. This way you can represent pieces of your website in a more attractive way to show in the search results. So let's get started. First, you log in Google Search Console. If you haven't done so, please register your website. Then underneath Search Appearance, you will find an option for Data Highlighter, right here. It will take you to this page. Then click Start Highlighting. You have the option to input your website or a page within your website. Let's just put a page within the website. In this case, I'm going to use this particular piece. This is an article that I wrote explaining what is social CRM. Since this is a question, this is a perfect piece to use for Google Highlighter. So I'm going to copy the link and paste it here. Now Google gives you the option to highlight the entire website and other pages within your website that looks like it. In this case, I'm going to select tag just this page. But before you do that, define what kind of piece of text, content, image, video, or data you're going to be highlighting. As you can see, there are many options here for articles, books, events, local business, movies, products, restaurants, software, applications, and TV episodes. In my case, I have an article. Click OK. And it begins to load. Okay, now we have a display of my website within the data highlighter. And this is how it works. I'm going to highlight the question. I'm going to give it a selection. This is a title. As you can see on my right side, we have outdoor, date, publish, image, category. So let's take advantage of all these pieces of data. I'm going to highlight the date and I'm going to put date, publish, date and time. I'm going to highlight the image and select image. And now I'm going to select the author. One last piece of information we can add to a blog article is category. In this case, you can use your tags. In this particular article, I have two tags, online marketing tools and social media. I'm going to highlight social media and select it as a category. I'm going to leave it as simple as this and then just hit publish. So there you have it, you have one article published in the case of a blog, and you can continue more highlighting in this button right here. The data will become available as soon as Google recrawls your website, and that's pretty much what you have to do. So that's how you use Data Highlighter, and good luck.